Dennis Prager expose the truth about the involvement of Donald Trump in hate speech. The larger question, since there are so few conservative media compared to uh, the mainstream media, which is on the left, uh, is, is that doing a fair job? And I, I see this as simply another of the series of hysterias that the left has created. I don't know, Don, how much you covered it, but I, I recall you did cover it, I just don't know how much. And that is the, uh, for example, the massive amount of anti-Semitism mm -hmm. and racism that the Trump election unleashed. That was all a lie, pure lie, 100 percent lie. No, uh, it wasn't. That's not true, Dennis. I'm sorry, but speaking yeah, as someone let me finish. who was, uh, let, wait a minute, okay. I cannot let you get away with that. As someone not, who was no, on no, the receiving you, you end let me of those say horrible what I want to say. insults, I can tell you that it was not a lie. Okay. And I'm a conservative all right, by former this is, Republican. This is, it's so, not a university. So you, know. you have to let people, you have to ahead, let people speak. I will, but I'm not going to let you speak falsehoods as someone who lived it. Excuse me, I will, all right, fine. Good. I completely, I have a 35-year record in the media, never been once attacked for saying a falsehood. So just, I don't know what your record is, that's mine. So let me repeat. It was a 100% lie that his election unleashed anti-Semitism. And uh, uh, we'll start with that. Uh, uh, hundreds of Jewish community centers had bomb threats called in. To the best of our knowledge to this day, 90% of them were called in by a, a Jewish kid living, an American Jewish kid living in Israel, and the other 10% were a black radical who was trying to impress his girlfriend. You're talking about we two have instances. We have no example. You're talking about I'm two sorry? instances, Dennis. You're talking no, not about two. two. Hundreds. Don, okay. not two. Okay. All this the hundreds. You're talking about two instances, and that is, I have to say that you're, you're not right about that. But why? Yeah, tell, me tell me where it's wrong. Tell me Shapiro where it's wrong. Other, in the other Jewish conservatives that, that got savagely attacked on social media during this Oh, during uh, this social whole, uh, media, whole thing. please. We get, yes, everybody uh, gets savagely attacked on social no, media. Not like this that. Is, this is, this not was like not that. unleashed Jonah by Goldberg, Donald Trump. You can ask all of them. Yes, what they've yes, gone through. I know and for Jonah me Goldberg, on the racism side of it, I received me. that too. So I mean, this this right. I'm sorry, Don, but you know what? This conversation when you bring people like this on, they're not helping the cause. You're deflecting, right. you you're trying to on, diminish Don, what's going on here, and you're not refacing the reality of what actually happened during the Trump your, during Trump's election. You know, you may right. be you may be supportive of him and there may be things that you agree with with him. There's some things I agree with that, that Donald Trump has said, but you cannot deny what actually took place. You cannot deny the ugliness that was unleashed during that campaign. And Apparently, I don't know, did you not pay attention to what happened in Chicago? Did you not pay attention to what happened at when Dennis, people were getting punched at his rallies? I mean, Dennis, to deny that is just This is a reality of, of what people feel and by you coming on and offering really no little if no evidence about um, I, the reality I, I that admit, not I, only this I, that, that Tara faces, but that I face as well, and many of many my friends others. of color, many of my Jewish friends, many of my women friends, many of my Muslim friends, have all right. are have all all have testimony, um, you know, to the contrary right. of what you say. Okay, I, I understand that. I can never deny individual cases. I believe you, Don. I believe your friends. I'm only telling you on a national level.